Well, first of all, my back always hurts. <laughs> um, I have scoliosis as well as endometriosis, okay. so that plays a lot into my back pain. Well, how long have you can you remember having back pain for? Probably the beginning of high school. Uh, do you know what uh, degree the curvature is? Um, I have two. Okay. Um, I think my top one, the last time it got checked, was like 37. Mm -hmm. And the bottom maybe 39. Okay. And are they measuring progression with that? Do they know? Is it progressing? Um, is stable? I don't know. I actually haven't gotten it checked in a while. Well, you mentioned also endometriosis. Mm -hmm. So do you, does the uh, back pain increase once a month during your cycle? Um, Twice a month during okay. my cycle and then when I'm ovulating. All right. What do you do to make the pain better? Like when you are in one of those twice a month exacerbations? Yeah. Um, usually I just kind of try a heating pad. Mm -hmm. Um not really much because not much helps me. Okay. Pain meds don't really help, so. Have you tried any natural herb supplements, vitamins? Have you tried any turmeric, ashwagandha? No. Have you ever had any pain that goes down your legs? Yes. Okay, which side? Usually the right. Usually the right. Mm -hmm. It goes down the back, the side, the front? Um, The back and the side. The back and yeah. the side, okay. How far down does it go? Does it go past your knee? No, usually just to my knee. Any numbness or tingling in your lower? Yes. All right, how often does that occur? Probably about twice a month. <laughs> I did surgery to remove my fibroids and mm -hmm. check to see what else I had. Um, they realized I had pelvic congestion as well as adenomyosis. Mm -hmm. But after that, they just kind of gave me meds but didn't really do much else. And let's see, do you ever have any neck pain? Um. Yeah, usually like around my shoulders though mostly. Like, okay, headaches? Yes. Okay, how often do you have headaches? Um, probably about twice a week. Have no. you ever done any stretching? Were you an athlete? No? I'm surprised actually. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I could have taken you for like a field hockey player. Really? Yeah. No, never. All right, what was, did you, did you, have you ever had any kind of activity in the past? Like, what really. did you do in high school? Did you get straight A's or something? Um, I mean, I was kind of smart, I guess okay, I, could, uh, I could say. I'm, I'm good at math. <laughs> okay. That was like my favorite subject. So have you ever been to a chiropractor at all? No. Okay. How do you feel about it? Are you excited? Nervous? I'm excited. Okay. Yeah, a little nervous. Okay. I'm very ticklish. Okay. I'm very nervous about that. <laughs> all right, very good. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. Yeah. Um, all right, so we'll start off. We'll do an exam on your spine. We'll okay. see what needs to be adjusted. And then when we get to that process, mm -hmm. after all the exam stuff, we get to the adjustment process, I'll walk you through it step by step. Okay. So there won't be any surprises. I'm not going to push without you knowing. We'll mm -hmm. practice the adjustment first so you know what it feels like. We'll get you adjusted. It doesn't hurt. It usually feels really good. And we should get you some relief today. Okay. And also figure out what's going to help bring you some relief in the future, too. Awesome. Sounds all right. good. Okay, cool. See what Thank your spine you. says. Okay. Okay, so definitely some inversion on the left foot. Come back this way, yep. Okay, lots of findings here. Left side mostly, a little bit of in, a little bit of inversion, and possible some uh, varus curvature as well. Turn around and go the other way again. More prominently varus on the left with inversion and uh, moderate to severe decreased arches on the left. Come back this way. All right, looking at the shoulders, high shoulder on the right, but the arm swing looks even and uh, good motion there. Everything's moving nicely, but we're seeing the curvature turn around and go the other way. So high shoulder on the right would mean that we have an apex in the right thoracic spine and then a uh, counter curvature in the left lumbar. We'll see that further. Keep coming back this way. Uh, looking at the hip swing, we're definitely going to be more restricted moving to the left. But the main finding is on the left leg, left lower extremity. And so we're going to look at the hip. That's most likely a compensation coming from the left hip. Okay, just observing the spine first. The high shoulder correctly indicated. I'm sorry, excuse me. I'm going to touch your back now. <laughs> That's right, you're very ticklish. Okay, ready? Better? Yes. Okay, so the high right shoulder correctly indicated the right thoracic curvature, the apex here, T6, inferior border of the scapula. It's going to be slightly off, but we're looking at T7 here. T6 looks like the apex, maybe T5, 6. And then a left apex, excuse me, left apex lumbar. This is the thoracic lumbar transition area. 
here, but still, it looks like you've maintained your lumbar lordosis here, which is very good. Okay, so I'm gonna do a scan with my fingers on the top of your spine, okay? okay. First, I'm gonna touch your back. Okay. We'll get you used to it. Thank you. Okay, now we're gonna do a scan. A little bit of tension here. You can feel the muscles trying to spasm. And so this is right where the curvature, right where we're transitioning the curvature from right to left. I'm gonna do a temperature scan with the back of my fingers, okay? A lot of heat coming off of the right side of the spine and it increases right here at that transition area on the con on the concavity of the curvature in the thoracic lumbar. And then it gets mildly more increased in heat here at the top left thoracic. But it feels like the most warm the most warm region of your spine is here. You feel it here in your left hip though, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's palpate the, uh, we're gonna palpate the spine now. I'm gonna touch your spine first. Okay. And we're gonna push in just a little bit deeper. Tender? Mm-hmm. Ticklish or tender? Um, it's like tender. This one? On the right side. Okay, is there any tenderness in your SI joint here, left? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go down a little bit further, okay? okay. Is there any tenderness here? Yes. More down low um, than here? No, more at the top. More at the top. Yeah. Tender? Mm, no. Tender? No. So mostly left SI joint tenderness. How about this here? No. Now, there's not too much rotation in your spine, and so the right is just slightly, you're slightly rotated this way, <clears throat> but it is minimal, which is good. Sorry. So you've compensated nicely. Remember, the spine wants curvatures in it because curves are more stable structures than straight lines. Mm -hmm. So for what you've done so far for 24 years, uh, it's working out. You're doing a great job. I know a lot of people with scoliosis who don't have any back pain, who don't have any issues whatsoever, mm -hmm. and uh, and your body can adapt to this. So here are the SI joints. So what we're going to do is, keeping your feet flat on the ground, mm -hmm. move your knees apart from each other. Go as far as you can. Good. Now close. Good. Open. Close. Movement on the right SI joint is good, and there is movement on the left SI joint. It's not completely stuck, but it's not moving as much as the right. Lumbar musculature, there's a little bit of rotation here, so with the inversion and the flattening arch on the left, the knees collapsing inward this way, and it's taking the hip down with it. And so the right would be our normal symmetrical side, it would be the normal side so to speak, and the left is the side that's um, compensating. Okay, so you're gonna feel my fingertips on the back of your hamstrings, okay. okay? I'm gonna slide this up to the bottom of your glute fold. We're lower on the right, meaning a anterior superior on the left, and then looking from the top, again, we are rotated here uh, back, so it's it would be a, uh, an ASIN on the left. Okay, nice, gentle breathing. Let your shoulder relax here.
Let's see if you can sink into the table just a little bit more. There you go. Feel better? Yeah. Good. It's always easier to let go as you breathe out. So as you breathe in, you can like feel the the increase in the pressure of your body on the table. And then as you breathe out, you just let it all sink in, let it all fall. There you go, just like that. How much water do you drink? Um. Any? <laughs> Good, right, short. Can you do me a favor, Jen? Can you just move to the side for a second? Cause you, yeah, yeah. Just but like, can you step, get off the table and just stand over there for just a second so I can see? Cause you're Matt, you match the wall behind you, <laughs> the gray and the blue, so I can't see accurately. Here, just try to let me do the work, okay? Don't mm -hmm. help. Okay, you can sit down. Thank you. Okay, do you have any discomfort or tension here? No. Any discomfort or tension here? No. Any discomfort or tension? No. L4 here. Yeah, a little bit. L3 here. Mm-hmm. Here? Yeah. Is it increasing as I'm moving yeah, up? Yeah, definitely. Still increasing? Mm-hmm. Now here? Uh, yeah. But not as not much. Not as much, yeah. yeah. Alright, so the majority of the tension in that thoracic lumbar transition here. Let's come up just a little bit further. Tension? Not much. This feels like it moves nicely here. We have a little bit of a crack there. Nice and flexible here. We've got good motion in the upper thoracic spine. I'm going to lift you up. Okay. Good down. Good left hip up. Good down. Was there any increase or decrease in tension when I put you on the blocks? Um, on the left side, yeah. Did it increase tension? Um, no, decrease. Okay. Okay, so when I looked at your leg length, the right one was short, but then when I put the blocks underneath of it, it balanced your legs and it decreased the tension in your left hip. So that's a good sign that we're moving in the right direction. Now you don't really have a short leg. Um, you just have like this little twist in your hips. Mm -hmm. That's a normal human being thing. Everyone has that asymmetry. You don't have any weird condition that you have to go home and Google or anything like that. And, uh, and this means also that we're headed in the right direction. If I can decrease tension just by blocking your hips and turning your pelvis a little bit, that's a good sign that we're doing the right things and we're going in the right direction and that we should be able to bring some relief today. Tender? Mm -hmm. Tender? Mm hmm This one too? Yeah. Does this feel like your headache spot? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna work on these trap fibers a little bit, okay? Mm Tender or ticklish? Ticklish. <laughs> Pressure's still good? Yeah. Tender or ticklish? Ticklish.
ticklish? Okay, nice gentle breathing. I'm gonna do a spinal cord stretch now. Okay, nice gentle breathing, let your shoulders sink in. There you go, as much as possible. You want to head piece down just a little bit like this. Okay, just following your breath. So let's practice one first. You're nice and relaxed right now, so let's, I want you to feel what it's like, okay? So I'm not gonna push hard yet, but just go ahead and take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. I'm just gonna follow your breath down like this, and then at the end of your breath, then we push in that direction. It's already starting to crack. Uh, it just means you're relaxed and you're ready to go. So we'll start with this one. We're gonna do very conservative, gentle on this first push, okay? Good? Yeah. Okay, nice gentle breathing in through your nose, good out through your mouth. It's sinking in, let the shoulders sink. How's that? Okay, same thing, deep breath in through your nose. Okay, one more time in and out. Good, shoulders sinking, let it all go. Perfect. Okay, same thing, deep breath all the way in, far in as you can go. Okay, now let your shoulders relax as you breathe out. Relax, let this sink in. Good, just testing, not pushing. Okay, so let's do this. Flip over to your back. Okay, deep breath in and out. Come all the way down and let your back relax on my hand. Go let the shoulder relax. Ooh. That was really good. All right, I'm gonna bend your top leg like this. Bottom leg is straight. Good. I'm gonna scoot your forward here just a little bit. I'm gonna pull this forward too, just a little bit like that. Good, and then we're gonna bring here to here, good. Here, head there is good. All right, so this is how we adjust the low back, okay? So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna stretch your shoulders in this position like that. We're gonna bring your hips down like this, and then when we get to about, you're pretty flexible, when we get to about here, mm -hmm. we're gonna push in, in that direction like that. Okay, nice and gentle breathing in through your nose. Good, end out. Good, and let the shoulders come up. Good, we're gonna bring the hips a little bit more. Oof. Laying back. Okay, breathing gently. Good, nice and soft in through your nose. 
out through your mouth. Good. We're gonna bring the shoulders up. We're gonna bring the hips down just a little bit like this. Good. Okay, now let your whole body relax. Loose, 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 loose. Good. Let this sink. Okay, now to the left. Good, center. Okay, bring your left ear down to your shoulder. Good, okay, back to center. Now right ear to your shoulder. Okay, good, center. Okay, so we'll start like this. I'm gonna bring your head over to this side like this. Good, and then very gently just pushing into the spine. So we're gonna come over to like right here and then from here we push in that direction like that, okay? Okay. okay nice gentle breathing in through your nose. Good, out through your mouth. Good, and just let everything, head, shoulders, everything sinking into the table. Go, let it go. That's good. Same thing, gentle breathing. I'm gonna bring it over to the side, and then we're gonna push like this in this direction. Let me test this first. Let's okay. just kind of like see, let your shoulders relax. Seven, six, five, four, all at the top. Okay, breathing in through your nose. Good, and out. Good, sinking in, good. Like 17 cracks. <laughs> I know. Okay, I'm gonna crack your toes now, okay? okay. really just the roast beef. <laughs> it's the only one. He's like, I'm a vegan. <laughs> nice and gentle. One more. Boulders relax, go, let the hips go. Ooh. <laughs> so we start with the ileocecal valve, so can you find your belly button for me? All right, I know this is gonna be ticklish, so if you put your hand on my hand, mm -hmm. it decreases the ticklishness. Okay. It just helps your brain like expect it and therefore become less yes. ticklish. Uh, I'm gonna find the ASIS on your hip with the other with the other hand here. It's where the bone sticks out. We connect these two points like this, and we start from here to find the ileocecal valve. This is tender here. Yeah. Here's the valve. This feels it feels healthy. It's it's moderately stuck, minimally minimal to moderate stuckness here. So it's a little bit of tenderness that you're having. Maybe this is breakfast going through um, three hours-ish. No, probably. Did you eat yet? What time did you eat today? Um, like 9.30. Mmm. That was a while ago. Okay, deep breath into your belly. Good and out. Good. We're gonna come up to the pilot here. No, stay here. So, or else you'll just bust out into laughter. All right, so this is the pyloric sphincter. This is where the stomach empties into the small intestine. Not as bad here. Everything's past here. We're past this point. Let's do this. Let's come down the large. Let's come down the descending colon. 
This is the most I can feel your body. So you feel like the throbbing underneath my finger? Mm-hmm. That's breakfast. That's your body pushing <laughs> breakfast through. What'd you have today? Um, donuts. <laughs> what kind of donut was it? Um, I actually just had donut holes from Dunkin'. Mm-hmm. Chocolate or glazed? My favorite are both, but I think... My I favorite had... are both. Or... No, it actually just depends on the day, honestly. I think glazed mm-hmm. were my favorites. Yeah. Though. It's yeah. hard. It's such a cl- good classic. I know. And they're like so soft. And yeah. Airy. She likes the powdered. I feel like they're too dense. Mm, yeah. Too dense? Yeah. They, they are dense. But the, but the outside powder is so good, though. <laughs> Donut crack. <laughs> All right, so this is, a, this is the diaphragm manipulation. So we just come underneath the rib cage here. Take a deep breath into your belly. Get out. Get in. And out. Try to breathe just into your belly, just into here. Good. Okay, but you can do you can do more specific. Do like try not to move your chest at all. Like just fill your belly with air here. Perfect. Is that difficult? No. No? Okay, good. Oh now I can see your nose ring close up. Now it makes sense. I think I need glasses. <laughs> How about that? Is that tender? Yeah. Okay, breathe into your belly. Keep going in, and out. All right, I'm gonna palpate your ovaries now. Okay. Ovaries, we're, gonna, we're not gonna go into the midline here, but we're just gonna check and see if there's any tenderness here in the reproductive organs. Ooh. Left side? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Left side, that's where it's all at. It's all <laughs> yeah. your hips. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Ultimately, these are good things to okay. put all these connections <laughs> together. We don't want a bunch of things that don't make sense. Right. We want to go, oh, wow, this is something mm-hmm. that we're easily identifying. Yeah. And then also, therefore, can pay attention to. Mm-hmm. This is where we can put energy into. Right. So- All right, so this is a full spine adjustment, okay, okay, Jay? Okay, so your arms are in a good place like that. I'm gonna use the towel here to support your neck. Okay. Right, and then I'm just gonna, just like the other adjustments, I'm following your breath, and then we're gonna pull down in this direction like this, and then go like that, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right, take a deep breath in through your nose. Go out through your mouth and just kind of sink in. That was really good. We're gonna do one more. Shoulders and hips, just letting it all go. Oh. Oof. That was pretty good. <laughs> All right, ready? We're gonna do a couple things here. Okay. So first, I want you to like slide your head to the right like this. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Now we're gonna bring this shoulder down like this. Perfect. Now we're gonna come back like this. Now look up at the ceiling. Comfy? Yeah. Almost there. Keep going. Breathe. Strong. Look at that. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. Yeah. Look at your snuff box. So, okay. <laughs> What's your nationality? Puerto Rican. Okay. Squeeze. All right, so what you're gonna do here is pull your elbow back. Keep down. Relax. Okay, push your right elbow back. Harder. Push this back. You said right. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this one here. Like this, okay? Let this hand relax. This is how we adjust the shoulder like this. Your shoulder? My I feel rib. like that was you. That was my rib. Okay, let's <laughs> one more time. Lean forward just a little bit. Good. Let's bring this one forward.
over here. That was good. <laughs> okay, these are cranial manipulations. This is from my Ayurvedic medicine, which is the medicine from the continent of India and traditional Chinese medicine. These techniques are thousands of years old. So they use a three-point system, and there are several layers here, but we're going to concentrate mostly on the superficial and then the deep layer. Each layer gives us insight into different systems of the body. So thyroid, adrenal, stomach, large intestine, and the superficial layer. So some increased activity there at the large intestine. Just because you have stuff going on there right now. You have some activity. Excuse me. Okay, I'm going to push down to the uh, deeper layer. You really want to be a mom, don't you? What? You really want to be a mom, don't you? How did you know that? I mean, I'm a mom, but I want more. Mm. How many children do you have? I have one. How old? Five. Wow, here we go. It's cool. Makes you grow fast. Yeah. You have kapha energy, is why. So um, beyond the systems of the body, there's vata, pitta, kapha. These are like the constitutions. And so it's like the meme that you are. If you look around, there's only so many different types of humans. I mean, we're all unique individuals. Mm -hmm. Some people are good at math. You know, some people are good at sports. Some people are skinny and can't gain weight. Some people have difficulty losing weight. Some people can gain muscle and lose muscle very easily. Mm -hmm. So these are the different types of body types. They're called exomorph, endomorph, mesomorph in, in Western anatomical sciences. But for you, you have this kapha energy, which is this very, it's like a, it's a water earthy um, energy that you see in a lot of like nurses, caretakers, anyone who um, has that nurturing. It's, it's a nurture instinct. Some people don't have it as much.
So superficial aspect on the left side is gallbladder, urinary bladder, small intestine. And heart, kidney, liver. All right, let's see, go ahead and take that for a test drive. Stand up, let's see how that feels. Walk around a little bit. <sighs> I feel so like, hmm, so like loose. Ooh, good, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, any tension, discomfort? No, honestly. Good, how, you bend over, touch your toes. Let's see what that feels like. <gasps> what? That was so easy. Mm. I could never do that. Uh -huh. What the heck? Jen, your face. I wish I had your face on camera because you look so surprised that she, she doesn't could do, do that. that. Yeah, I yeah. can't. I, I'm like, yeah. Uh huh. Okay, cool.